Hello everyone, Asian Cycling here. Today I'm giving you 4 pros and cons of buying a $4,500 gravel bike. I've been riding a specialized Diverge Comp Carbon for 1.5 years now, and during this time I've had multiple situations where I loved this bike, and there were some times when I regretted getting this more expensive version of the bike. So let's get started with the pros. Alrighty, so the first good thing about purchasing this $4,500 gravel bike was how well-rounded the bike is for all types of riding. At this price, all parts of my bike is carbon fiber except for the wheels, so the bike is really light for a gravel bike, making everyday riding more fun as well. The bike also has a wide range of gears, which allows me to ride comfortably on-road and off-road in most situations. Of course, there are multiple instances where I need lower or higher gears than I have, but that's rare. On this bike, I've done a full-on roadie hill climb with 8,000 feet of climbing, as well as black diamond mountain bike courses. So I'd say it's pretty well-rounded. The next pro is that the price will come with hydraulic disc brakes. Hydraulic brakes are very helpful in stopping on rougher surfaces and wet surfaces. They activate much easier and better than rim brakes or normal disc brakes. So I think hydraulic brakes are absolutely worth the extra price. The next pro is the clutch mechanism on the rear derailleur. This was one of the reasons why I got this bike instead of a cheaper model. Cheaper group sets won't have a clutch mechanism to it to stop the chain from bouncing around. This is a necessity during gravel rides and especially on mountain bike rides. It prevents your chain from falling easily which is incredibly helpful and worth the extra cost. The last pro is specific for Specialized, but it is the Future Shock suspension system. This small suspension of 20mm seems really minor, but it makes such a huge difference when riding anywhere. It reduces the overall shocks going into your body for a smoother and more comfortable ride. Canyon has the double bars which acts in a similar way, but this also comes in the higher price ranged bikes. You can also add a suspension by buying the suspension stem, like the Redshift suspension stem. So a small amount of suspension will be definitely worth paying extra for. That's it for the pros, here are the 4 cons and reasons I regret getting a $4,500 gravel bike. The biggest con to me is the cost of repairs. I break my bike. A lot. The bike is expensive because expensive components are on the bike. So this is a terrible combination for gravel bikes because your bike is significantly higher at risk to break. With rougher surfaces and more falling, your bike's gonna have more mechanical problems and more chances for it to break. And if you're unlucky and you need to replace a part, that component is gonna be much more expensive on your higher quality bikes. Oh no! Oh no! The next con of buying a $4,500 gravel bike is the fact that the bike is carbon fiber. Carbon fiber bikes have improved significantly and they're actually equally to more durable than aluminum bikes recently. But that doesn't mean that my mind thinks that way. So having a metallic bike will have me much more confident and durable and feel safer on a ride. The next con of buying a $4,500 gravel bike is related to the carbon fiber, but it's in fact that you need a torque wrench to deal with anything on the bike. This isn't much of a problem at home other than the fact that you need to buy a torque wrench, but you also need to buy a smaller, expensive torque wrench mini multi-tool that you can carry on your rides as well. And these things are pretty expensive, and it's just something extra that I have to think about during a ride which I personally don't like. The final con of an expensive gravel bike is the disc brakes themselves. No matter how great disc brakes are for performance, they're really a nightmare for dealing with for maintenance. They're not as easily adjustable as a rim brake, and additionally if it's hydraulic, you just can't simply tighten a wire to make it work better. The maintenance side of a disc brake is a total nightmare for me due to the amount of issues that arise from rubbing to contamination to reduced braking. Alrighty, so those were my 4 pros and cons of buying a $4,500 gravel bike. Let me know if you agree with these in the comments and let me know if you have any more pros and cons of your own. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you in the next video.